Sometimes you're given a project that's something completely new. It's something that's never been put on a car before. So it's a new invention. So when I get a project like that, um, it requires a lot of creativity. So I work on it a little bit differently than other people do. Like most kids, I played with Lego. I would build these large scale Lego ships, battleships, and they'd be like five and six feet long and they'd have all kinds of moving parts and working parts and stuff like that. And uh, so that kind of led me into engineering. It taught me how to think, how to work through problems in three dimensions, how to make things do what you have in your head, what you would imagine uh, to make them happen in real life. It's great when you build something on a Lego because you've got it in your hands, you can see how it moves and you can see how it changes shape and you can show it to others. And they may have ideas that you haven't thought of and they may say, why don't you try doing this or make this longer or shorter or more compact. I kind of got known in the office as the Lego guy and uh, people would take videos with their phones and, and show it to other people and, and it caught on. So, um, so far I'm the only one that's, that's using this tool to, to design stuff, but uh, may, maybe in the future it'll catch on with other people. When I have a design that I like and it's just about the right shape and, and size, uh, I then work on it in CAD software. So I'll measure it and make the same thing on the computer. I was able to work on uh, racing car parts at one point in time and that was, that was really thrilling because I was able to work on an engine block that's, that's kind of the main center of an engine. It's a really kind of important part and it got put into an actual race car and it was going around the track and I could watch it on TV and say that car, that there, that's got my part on it, you know, under the hood. And uh, so that was, that was really a thrilling process. Several of the people here, uh, about eight designers from ARDC and several other people from other uh, FCA Canada groups volunteer to help students in their first robotics teams to, to create robots that do really fun and, and exciting challenges. And it's, it's, a, it's a great feeling, uh, it's a great experience, and it's, it's a great opportunity to be able to teach the next uh, generation of engineers how important math and science is and how those things, when you learn them, uh, how they can help you to create your dreams, your, 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 your ideas and turn them into a reality.